UDP traffic through SSH tunnel. The title pretty much sums it up. I would like to send UDP traffic through a SSH tunnel. Specifically, I need to be able to send UDP packets through the tunnel and have the server be able to send them back to me on the other side. I know how to do it for TCP connections. Is this a possible with UDP? This small guide tells you how to send UDP traffic via SSH using tools that come standard, SSH, North Carolina, FIFO, with most Unix-like operating systems. Performing UDP tunneling through an SSH connection. Step by step. Open a TCP forward port with your SSH connection. On your local machine, local, connect to the distant machine, server, by SSH with the additional L option so that SSH will do TCP port forwarding. This will allow TCP connections on the port number 6667 of your local machine to be forwarded to the port number 6667 on server.foo.com through the secure channel. Set up the TCP to UDP forward on the server. On the server, we open a listener on the TCP port 6667 which will forward data to UDP port 53 of a specified IP. If you want to do DNS forwarding like me, you can take the first name server's IP you will find in slash etc slash resolve dot conference. But first, we need to create a FIFO. The FIFO is necessary to have two-way communications between the two channels. A simple shell pipe would only communicate left processed standard output to right processed standard input. This will allow TCP traffic on servers port 6667 to be forwarded to UDP traffic on 192.168.1.1s port 53 and responses to come back. Set up the UDP to TCP forward on your machine. Now, we need to do the opposite of what was done above on the local machine. You need privileged access to bind the UDP port 53. This will allow UDP traffic on local machines port 53 to be forwarded to TCP traffic on local machines port 6667. Enjoy your local DNS server smile. As you've probably guessed, when a DNS query will be performed on the local machine, for example on local UDP port 53, it will be forwarded to local TCP port 6667, then to servers TCP port 6667, then to servers DNS server, UDP port 53 of 192.168.1.1. To enjoy DNS services on your local machine, put the following line as first name server in your slash etc slash resolve dot conference. This example, I think John's answer points to the same thing at a different place, describes how to access another machine's UDP slash DNS services over an TCP slash SSH connection. We will forward local UDP slash 53 traffic to TCP, then TCP traffic with the port forwarding mechanism of SSH to the other machine, then TCP to UDP slash 53 on the other end. Typically, you can do it with OpenFP. But here, we'll do it with simpler tools, only OpenSH and Netcat. At the end of that page, is another comment with a reference to SoCat. The same UDP slash DNS access is made with. Server side, SoCat TCP for listen column 5353, reuser. 
4 QDP column name server column 53 client side, SOCAT UT 4 listen column 53, reuse it -er. Fork TCP column local host column 5353. Refer SOCAT examples for more. Or you could simply use SSF, which was designed to handle this use case, with a simple command. Client side. This command redirects local port 53, DNS, to 192.168.1.1 port 53, through a secure tunnel between localhost and server.foo.com. You will need a SSF server, instead of, or next to, your SSH server. By the way, both client and server side of SSF work on Windows, Linux, Mac. This is a userland application, so you don't need TAN slash TAP or VPN. To redirect port 53, you will need administrative privileges, regardless of the tool you're using. For more info, details, use case, or download this URL. SSH, at least OpenSH, has support for simple VPNs. Using the W or Tunnel option in the SSH client, you can create a TUN device at both ends, which can be used to forward any kind of IP traffic. See also Tunnel in the manual page of SSH underscore config 5. Note that this requires OpenSH, and probably root privileges, at both ends. Thank mm -hmm. you.